welcome to the Annunciation Marble Art. I'm Jasmine. This is Sophia. And I'm Martin. Hello. <laughs> Hope you've all had a good week and uh, are getting ready to worship together uh, here at Sunday School. Let's get all the wriggles out of us um, before we go into our worship this morning. Um, yeah, and then we'll have our, so we have, let's have our moment of calm. So let's breathe in and breathe out. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in and out. So Father God, um, we thank you for bringing us here together virtually, Lord, um, and we thank you for our Bible story that we're going to hear about later of Zacchaeus, um, and um, Lord, how you changed him, Lord, that you, um, he who thought he was friendless, um, you befriended him, um, because you are a friend of everyone who calls upon your name, Lord, including us. So please bless um, our session this morning as we learn uh, more about you and uh, how you can live in our lives, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord is my light, my light and my salvation. In him I trust, in him I trust. The Lord is my light, my light and my salvation. In him I trust, in him I trust. Let's start with our first song. It's a very exciting time for, for both your moms and dads and for you, I'm sure. So uh, we pray that the Sabbath school goes well again. That um, it will be a joyous occasion seeing all your friends and your teachers and, um, and, uh, and separating that school from home. I know that's always very difficult to do. Um, but now you'll be back at school and then you'll come home and you'll have playtime and it won't be, won't be uh, full of homework and schoolwork and things like that. Um, let's um, let's um, light our candle. We haven't said hello to everybody yet. We haven't said hello to everyone yet. Let's <laughs> say hello <laughs> first. <laughs> and then we will light our candle. There's our cue. The candle is coming up after this song. Let's do hello. Hello, everyone. If we can do this more quickly than uh, than last week, I think that's been more successful. <laughs> All right, let's have that moment of silence. 
and then let's put that safely away and we can think of someone who we're um, thinking of as we light our candle um, someone far away someone we haven't seen for a long time um, um, in lockdown um, or also um, uh, maybe like someone you will be seeing this week someone you haven't wow. seen your school friends for example and, um, and, and then let's all get our candle hands ready as we say we light this candle we, we light, light this, this candle, candle to help us think to help, to help us think about the light of god about, about the, the light, light of, of god shining around the world shining around the world and especially at sunday school and especially, and especially at, at sunday, sunday school. school and we take our hands down to prayer hands and we say dear lord dear, dear lord, lord thank you for bringing us together at sunday school Thank you for bringing us together at Sunday School. Please bless us. Please bless us. And help us to learn more about your work. And help, and help us, us to learn more about your work. work. Amen. Amen. Great. And so now we sing our last song before we go into our Bible story, which is um, we start slow and quietly, and we pick up speed and get louder and louder, and we're jumping at the end um, to get our wriggles out of us again until we listen to our Bible story. Love God with all your heart. Love God with all your heart. Love everyone else as much as yourself. Love God with all your heart. Love God with all your heart. Love God with all your heart. Love everyone else as much as yourself. Love God with all your heart. Love God with all your heart. Love God with all your heart. Love everyone else as much as yourself. Love God with all your heart. Love God with all your heart. Love God with all your heart. Love everyone else as much as yourself. Love God with all your heart. Great, so we'll move into our Bible story. It's like the what we read in church and it's based on the Lion Bible version. So as I said, we're talking about Zacchaeus today. God gave Jesus a special job to help bad people become good. Jesus performed amazing miracles and he taught people God's message, which is that God loves us. We should say sorry for the bad things we've done and follow his rules to love one another. So we've heard um, before in other Sunday schools of all the miracles Jesus did. He healed sick people, he calmed dangerous storms, he walked on water and ultimately he came back from the dead at Easter. Jesus said that if we all followed God's rules, earth would be just like heaven. Then God's kingdom would have been created on earth. So to create God's kingdom on earth, we all need to follow God's rules. That's part of the Lord's prayer, isn't it? Thy kingdom come. Um, and, um, so, and it can come on earth. We can, if we all lived like Christ, then um, the earth would be like heaven. But unfortunately, a lot of us, um, a lot of people um, don't love God. Jesus told us to love God with all our heart. This means we only worship God. Not money, fame, beauty or other things. We only say God's name when we talk to him or praise him. We go to church on Sunday and we obey God's rules. And that can all be summed up with loving God with all your heart. Jesus told us to love everyone else as much as we love ourselves, which is what we sing every week. This means we need to treat other people the way that we would like to be treated. So we do not hurt other people. We do not steal, we do not tell lies, and we are not jealous. We respect the special people in our life, like our parents, and in future our husband or our wife. So we need to treat others kindly, um, care in a caring fashion, we need to help other people, we need to share, and we need to be honest. And again, this can be summed up by loving everyone else as much as you love yourself. So before you act, you need to think, would I like that to be done to me? Would I like to be treated like that? And if the answer is no, then that should uh, stop you from doing um, what you were going to do and to act differently. Jesus and his disciples were on their way to Jerusalem for the Passover festival. Jesus knew that soon he would die on the cross. They stopped at Jericho so Jesus could teach the people there God's rules. So Jesus wants to help bad people become good. Everyone in Jericho had to pay tax money to the king. The tax money collectors made lots of money. Zacchaeus, their chief, made the most money of all. He was very rich, but he was not happy. Everyone hated him. He was a cheat. 
He made people pay too much tax money and stole the extra. So Zacchaeus here, you can see he doesn't look very happy, does he? He's sad. He's sad because he's hated by everyone because he steals their money. So he wasn't following God's rules, so he wasn't a happy man. Zacchaeus had heard that Jesus was a wonderful teacher who changed people's lives. He was very unhappy, so maybe Jesus could help him. Zacchaeus really wanted to see and listen to Jesus, but there was a crowd of people listening to him. They were all taller than Zacchaeus, so he couldn't see past them. Zacchaeus was too short. And you've probably been in this situation before. You can see there are ch there's a child in this story, um, and there are other children who are um, luckily being carried by their parents, so they're taller. But this child um, on the ground wouldn't be able to see above all the heads of all the people. Um, and uh, we pray that one day we will be able to have crowds again. This def definitely feels like a pre-pandemic <laughs> picture. But one day we pray that this will uh, come back to normal. There will be crowds again. Zacchaeus glanced up to the fig tree that grew beside the street. He thought, I'll climb that tree. I'll be able to see Jesus from there. Zacchaeus stretched up, 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 up to the lowest branch of the tree. He was so little, he could only just reach. He began to climb. So he really wants to see Jesus. And um, as you can see, these other children are uh, kind of laughing at him, but he doesn't care. He is going to do it anyway because he knows Jesus is, is so important to see. From the tree, Zacchaeus could see Jesus perfectly. But suddenly, Jesus stopped. He looked right up at Zacchaeus. Come down from that tree, Jesus said with a big smile. I want to come to your house today. Jesus said it as if they were friends already. Zacchaeus was very excited. He was rich, but he didn't have any friends. Zacchaeus was a cheat. He stole everyone's money and they hated him. Now Jesus wanted to be his friend. So Jesus is a friend of the friendless. He befriends everybody, whether they are worthy or not. And then, of course, he changes them. But all the people Zacchaeus had stolen from were unhappy. They grumbled, how can Jesus go to that man's house? Zacchaeus is nothing but a nasty little cheat. So they thought Jesus should only talk to good people. He shouldn't go to the home of a nasty cheat. Jesus taught Zacchaeus God's rules that day. And after that, Zacchaeus stopped cheating. He knew that Jesus was his friend now and Jesus wouldn't like him to cheat. Zacchaeus said to Jesus, I'll give half my money to people who don't have enough and I'll pay back everyone I've cheated four times as much as I took. So he was starting to follow God's rules. He was stopping cheating. He was going to share his money with poor people and pay back the money he stole. Jesus said to the grumblers, it's people like Zacchaeus I want to find. I want to rescue them and bring them back to God. Jesus was very pleased. He had helped someone bad become good. He had done the special job God had given him. Great. So we've got a song about uh, that goes to the narrative of the story. Uh, it goes to the tune of Old King Cole, if you know it. And we have sometimes sung it at church, actually. It's one of the sheets that we have at church. We don't often sing it, but you might remember it. And it's been a long time since we've been at church. But some of you older ones might remember it. So it goes like this. It says, Zacchaeus was a very little man, um, which uh, Martin and I understand. Um, <laughs> as short people, we're a short family. Um, <laughs> and uh, But Jesus loves everyone, whether you're short or tall. Um, so um, Zacchaeus was a very little man, and a very little man was he like this. Now Zacchaeus was a very little man, very little man is he. Try that again. Zacchaeus was a very little man, very little man was he. And he climbed up to the top of the tree for the saviour he wanted to see. We're going to do our arms out for Jesus on the cross. Um, it's like this. He climbed up to the top up of the tree for the saviour he wanted to see. For the saviour he wanted to see. So yes, if you've ever been in a crowd of people, you want to look over them, you're kind of jumping to see if you can, you can see as what he's doing. And of course he failed. Um, um, he, um, he fails and that's why he climbs up the tree. So, um, he, again. He climbed up to the top of the tree for the saviour he wanted to see. For the saviour he wanted to see. 
Alright, let's try that first verse. Now Zacchaeus was a very little man, a very little man was he. He climbed up to the top of the tree for the saving he wanted to see. For the saving he wanted to see. And then what happens? So Jesus comes along. So, and when the Saviour came that way, he looked up to the tree. And when the Saviour came that way, he looked up to the tree. Again. And when the Saviour came that way, he looked up to the tree. Because Jesus knows. He knows Zacchaeus is, all, is up there because he knows everything. And he said, now Zacchaeus, you come down. I'm coming to your house for tea. And he said, now Zacchaeus, you come down. I'm coming to your house for tea. I'm coming to your house for tea. Again. And he said, now Zacchaeus, you come down. I'm coming to your house for tea. I'm coming to your house for tea. And this is very important. Jesus calls him by name. He says, Zacchaeus, come down. So he instructs him. So God, he always extends his hand to us, but we have to reach out and take it. Zacchaeus has to do something. He has to come down the tree. He has to invite Jesus to his house. And then he has to change. Um, um, but, um, but then, of course, once he's changed, he's much happier. He's got Jesus as his friend. He's got other friends because he's generous and he shares. And his life is forever changed in a good way. Let's try that second verse then. And when the Saviour came that way, he looked up to the tree. And he said, now Zacchaeus, you come down, I'm coming to your house for tea. I'm coming to your house for tea. Brilliant. We're doing a cup of tea rather than northern tea, which means dinner, but just because it's easier to do. <laughs> so um, let's uh, try that from the top, the two verses. Now Zacchaeus was a very little man, and a very little man was he. He climbed up to the top of the tree for the saving he wanted to see. For the saving he wanted to see. And when the saviour came that way, he looked up to the tree. And he said, now Zacchaeus, you come down, I'm coming to your house for tea. I'm coming to your house for tea. Brilliant! Let's try that from the top. So we'll do it twice and at the end we'll slow it down to the end of the song. Now Zacchaeus was a very little man and a very little man was he. He climbed up to the top of the tree for the same he wanted to see. For the same he wanted to see. And when the saviour came that way he looked up to the tree. song which talks about the robin in the tree just like Zacchaeus was in the tree high up so that he could see Jesus if I were a butterfly I thank you Lord for giving me wings and if I were a robin in a tree I thank you Lord that I could sing and if I were a fish in the sea I'd wiggle my tail and I'd giggle again and I'd just thank you for making me Oh, you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile You gave me 
Calvary, which talks about the little ones, um, like Zacchaeus was a little man, um, and we all belong to Jesus, whether we're big or small. Jesus loves me, this I know. Again, it says so high you can't get over it, and, and Zacchaeus went high up into the tree so that he could see Jesus. I'll try and get all the chords right. <laughs> Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. So high you can't get over it. Like love. Like love. Well, God is everywhere. At, at, at Easter, we sing about how God, uh, we sing about God is in the air. Because, yeah, God is everywhere. Mm. All around us. All around us. Like air, we, we need him in order to be alive, properly alive as, as people. I know. Yeah. And earlier, Martin said that he got the chords wrong, and sometimes I get the words wrong, but it doesn't matter. God loves us. We all make mistakes. <laughs> um, but um, that doesn't matter to Jesus because he loves us whether we're big or small, whether we're right or wrong. He will always love us and lead us in the right way as we, if we follow him. And I'm sure you're all just singing along perfectly at home anyway, which <laughs> is what it takes, you know, when someone goes wrong, someone else does it right and then we keep going. Indeed. So let's end with the Lord's Prayer, the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Um, so pray how you wish to pray. Our Father. Our, Our Father. Father. Who art in heaven. Who art in heaven. heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will, will be done. done. In earth as it is in heaven. In earth, in earth as it, as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give, give us this day our, our daily bread. bread. And forgive us our trespasses. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those. As we forgive those. Who trespass against us. Who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is the kingdom. The power and the glory. The power and the glory. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Great. So, um, yeah, good luck everyone going back to school. And uh, we will see you next week. Take care. God bless. Bye. Bye.